you are looking at the first typhoon of the Western Pacific season, and it's going through something we call rapid intensification, which is really just another way of saying a major typhoon might be bringing major issues to the Philippines. <laughs> Good evening, my friends. April 16th, 2021, 5.53 p.m. We got a little evening update for you, and we are looking at the Western Pacific, specifically Typhoon Sergei, as we noted in the intro. Not only is it the first typhoon of that specific part of the world's typhoon season, but it is clearly taking over the weather ticker here on Twitter, and for very good reason, because right off the bat, as we said before, this is going through something called rapid intensification. And simply what that means for the people of the Philippines and current the island of Palau directly under Sergei as we speak is a lot sooner than later. We could see this thing jump up two to three categories. We could see a category four if compared, like I said, to the Atlantic hurricane season, a major super typhoon is what they call it. Now, if this does take place, the one silver lining we have as of right now is it looks like Sergei wants to hook east back into the Pacific Ocean just before making landfall in the northern part of the Philippines, as you can see in this chart here. Of course, everything you're seeing right now is projection and prediction based on the information they have now, but as each hour passes more and more of these models are coming together and agreeing that this thing is going to get dangerously close to the northern part right there, as you can see as it dips down to 941 millibars, and expect it to hit about 125 knots. You can see right in this area here, that is the projection, which for those of you that don't know, would convert to 143 miles an hour. Using knots as they do in this part of the world, you can see that that lines up to a violent typhoon. Very, very dangerous situation that could play out right above the Philippines. At this hour, Sergei is at 115 knots, which leads you to understand a little more about that rapid intensification jumping from that equivalent to a tropical depression slash category one hurricane to possibly a category four or five in a very, very short period of time. As close as this storm is to a landfall, again, making landfall with Palau Islands underneath it right about here here. It actually did some pretty decent damage to there. I was going to get into that, but I wanted to get this update out to you a little quicker. We are going to have a threat to land. As we can see in the models, this thing's going to swing up, hopefully hooking back out east into the Pacific Ocean before making any sort of contact with the Philippines and any other surrounding islands. Once again, my friends, thank you so much for listening to this update. Short and sweet. I hope you are all safe, especially those of you that see this video from this area. Please stay safe. I'll put out updates as needed. Stop right Shout there, out my to friends. Canada. If you have oh, not already, click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell icon click all and you will get all notifications from this channel and trust me you won't be disappointed